Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video, I'm going to start a new series. I'm going to create a new Laravel project. And for this project, I'm going to choose uh, Inertia with React. I'm going to create a Netflix clone. This is the first video. We are going to see how many videos this project is going to take. But here I am in the Laravel website and we have the ecosystem. Now we can choose Inertia here and I'm going to choose Inertia with React because I think in my channel I don't have enough uh, videos about Laravel Inertia and React. I have videos about Laravel Inertia but with a view. So for that I'm going to choose React in this project. Now here I have opened the Inertia and let me just zoom it a little bit. Uh, we can create a Laravel project and then install inertia or we with laravel we have also a starter kit which is coming with uh, authentication and we can choose that to use inertia with react okay so i'm going to open the terminal i'm going to open the i term here okay so here i'm going to zoom it this and then let's see the third directory and here let's say Laravel new. Okay, I'm going to name it uh, Netflix or Netflix clone. Let's say Netflix like this. Hit enter, and here we have a starter kit. Choose breeze, and which breeze stack we have live wire, or react with inertia and view with inertia. So I'm going to choose react with inertia. Now here we have some features: dark mode. Inertia, SSR, and TypeScript. I want to choose dark mode and uh, TypeScript. Now, let's choose also the SSR, but I think we have uh, here or there, so let's just choose and we're going to fix that. I'm going to choose a MySQLite for database. Okay, I'm going to CT to Netflix. And I'm going to open this with a VS Code here. Okay, now if I go to package just.json, we have installed the headless UI, inertia, tile in CSS forms, and we have types because we chose the TypeScript, we have Types node React React DOM VJS plugin React and we have also Laravel V plugin React React DOM Tidin CSS TypeScript and Post CSS installed. Okay, let's go to .env file and we need to create a database with a name Netflix. So I'm going to open the DB engine. And let's create a new database with that name Netflix, or you can change the name. Now, okay, if I open here, no tables right now. Let's go to database, and in the seeders, we have the database seeder. And we have here user factory create to create one user with test username and test example.com email. The password is password. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the terminal and run PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh. There's their seed, but I have an alias for this, just fresh. And now, yeah, we have migrations and also seed in the database. So if I come here and refresh, we have all the tables. And also we have one user. Okay, so let me open also the herd application. And now let's open the project. So Netflix dot test. And here we have the project. Let me zoom in. We can go and log in. So let's say test example. If 
for password we have a password string and we are authenticated you can go and see the profile and now we are okay with the project so we created the project we have inertia react also authentication in one go okay friends that's it all about this video just to create the project with all the tools you need so laravel inertia react uh, Tallinn css and because we use laravel laravel has a starter kit which install all we need with with one command now if you like such a video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much